the rock formations up here are absolutely to die for. And we've just had an idea with the sun being up there and low. You can see the sun's right behind me there. Okay, okay. So we've had the long lens out and we've taken a picture of Snowden. And even now it looks flipping amazing. The, snow, the sun is virtually sitting on the top of Snowden. Good morning. I'm out and about again. And uh, we're heading out and up. And I'm with Mr. Danks. His fault, am I? <laughs> he says, let's go up there yonder, walk round, here gone. gone, walk round and go all the way around the back of Trevan no, and back down. Oh, we're coming down, going around the glitters. Glitters and then back baby down Devil's Kitchen bit, down here. We're going up and round anyway. So yeah, I'm, I'm dressed a little bit lightweight, cooler. Got no tripod because Gareth's not bringing a tripod. I'm thinking, well, I'm not carrying one then. So no well, tripod. I was, mine, so I was gonna nick yours. <laughs> <laughs> well, that plan went wrong then, didn't it? <laughs> so I've left it in his van and uh, yeah, we've just started off on the walk and it's nice, it's fresh, it's really, really cool. But I'm fogging up because uh, even though I've dressed cool to get warm as a walk, I'm already warm. I could walk up here in no t-shirt at all, to be honest. But yeah, well, you didn't. Do I'm that. glad I didn't. No, I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll check in a little bit further up once uh, it gets serious because I know this, I've been up here once. Someone slept in this morning, so. Uh... Yeah, yeah, we were going to try and do a sunrise, <laughs> but his alarm didn't go off. He set his alarm for another day, which was, why do phones do that? I know why they do Saturday, that. But yeah. so Today's Sunday. So anyway, now it's come completely foggy. If you look at my glasses, I can't see anything at all. So I'll speak to you a bit later on. Well, we are definitely on our way up. You can see down there, Clean the Wall, and Clean Ogwin, and Trafan over in the distance there. We're definitely making our way up yonder hill. And uh, yeah, I, I, I think this is quite steep, to be honest. Maybe they're steeper, but... It just it is a relentless onward, upward plod. And so luckily enough, it's just me and Gareth and he's on a plod day today. He's taking his time, he's enjoying it, which means I've not got to bust me balls to try and do it. But it's hard work. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit, I'm feeling, I'm feeling a bit fearful for the icy stuff and the frosty stuff up on the top, but I'm excited to be going there. But because it's something I'm not used to, I've got that, that, that um, anxiety of what to expect, you know. I've got my little spikes to go on my feet if I need them. So, you know, I should be all right if it gets a bit slippery. But it's just that, that anxiety thing that sort of kicks in a little bit that would normally put me off. But because I'm with someone, I'm, I'm dedicated and I feel good. And I know there's someone there to, you know, for the support. So let's, uh, let's keep going because he's running away from me now. <laughs> Who laid these paths? It wasn't us. I know, I've, I think that many, many times. <laughs> well, we have definitely gained some elevation and people are up now running past us like these two, <laughs> these two here. They're catching up with us and they're going past us. I'm definitely going slower than a lot. <laughs> it is a bit. But now we can see the people up on the, up on the ridge there, walking across that ridge. And it's just amazing watching people up on that ridge. It's really cool. These guys have obviously been up, up overnight. But the view down here is absolutely insane. Insane, really, really beautiful view. Gorgeous place. I've done this walk once and I know that it gets a bit steep up there, up on that top bit, but I'm still enjoying it. So just look. It's pretty nice. <laughs> it's pretty nice. We have come up now. We're up on the the first bit of the ridge, the full summit. Yeah, the first bit of the ridge. You see down there the Ogwin Cafe right down on the bottom, and you get start to get this big view of this big drop off the side. I love these sort of views. These these really do a lot for me. Oh, it's the sunlight's on us now, and that's very needed. It's, it is chilly. Uh, Feel your cockles. <laughs> He's got his cockles. He's feeling his cockles, bless him. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna carry on talking too much, otherwise it'll just be me waffling again, as normal. So uh, onward. I'll tell you what, as lovely a chap he is, he don't have to do some talking, does Gareth? Is that his excuse for <laughs> taking his time? Uh, well, now off onto the next little plateau. You know when I said to you about the people walking up, you can see them on the ridge. Well, this is pretty much the ridge now going up there. 
uh, there's little dots right up the top. So I'm looking forward to getting up there to where it's a bit more icier and snowy. I must admit, I'm, I'm looking forward, but yeah, I do have that anxiety of sketchiness coming in. And there's quite a lot of snow over there as well. Even though Gareth says there's no snow, that is white. If it's white, it's snow. <laughs> well, isn't it changing now? Just look at it. We're going off into the cloud base. It's uh, extremely exciting. Camera's out on the capture clip. <sighs> I'm getting those, getting the nerves where it's starting to get icy under feet. <sighs> Gavin's done this before. Oh, Gareth, sorry, Gareth's done this before, but me? Ooh, it feels a bit scary. Now I know I'm not on the top yet, but I'm buzzing, it's amazing, but Jesus, it's cold. You can see how steep it is. Look, Gareth's coming up there. So you can just shows you how steep it is coming up that last bit. But by God, the wind up here is biting, absolutely biting. But the views are phenomenal. Oh, it's not about photography all the time, is it? It really is. This is about me walking and coming out and being out of my comfort zone and doing something else. It's just flipping amazing. So we're at the top. We're up the top. We're originally officially at the top of this, this one. Oh, thank goodness, it's definitely brisk and chilly up here. But, like I say, when the clouds clear, the views up here are pretty amazing, to be honest. Very, very cool. Now, I'm sure you've seen a few photographs as I've come up the hill. I will catch a couple more as and when I can, but at the moment, I'm concentrating more on keeping warm and keeping sane. Oh. I need a drink and need some snacks, so let's get that sorted first. I am absolutely bitter freezing cold, bitter, bitter freezing cold, I'm right on the edge here. Looking down, I've got Glen Inwall down there. I'm looking down, but this ridge line is catching my eye, and I love this little bit of a pathway here on the right hand side. And having these boulders in the foreground with all the nice fresh snow on them, and all the rugged ruggedness and the you know the, the icy bits on them it just looks fantastic as a foreground. But what I also like is this little bit of a ridge sticking out. I've got this lovely little shape that just sweeps right round to that sort of eye line that, at the back there. I took a few earlier on as well with the sun in, and I thought the silhouettes of the people were good, but. I can't stand it for much longer because my lips are literally going numb talking to you now, but yeah, what a stunning little photograph this is. I really, really like this, and it's definitely one to tell the story of the day of being here. Woo, really, really cool. But I've got to get off this, off the edge and get back behind the rocks because I'm absolutely perished. I've got my other coat with me and I could put it on, but I don't want to get too warm because I know that when I get start moving again, I'm going to get cold to, or get too warm. So yeah, I won't put my other coat back on, but let's just move back out of the way and get back out of the that breeze that's ooh, blowing through my jacket. <sighs> so yeah, shooting this one, looking back at it and the horizontal and the vertical, the light's just coming back out again now, so I might try and do another couple, but there's no footprints in that little bit, so it keeps it nice and fresh and looks pretty pretty. And I love the icy sort of texture on the, on the rocks as well. But yeah, looking that way to me is also as good as looking that way, but I do see the, the appeal of that. And now it's clearing and getting the sun coming through as well and these clouds are starting to thin out. Oh, it's exciting. Another very simple one as well. We've got people coming off from down this end here and as they come up over there, having that sort of backlit view and making them silhouettes, I just think they look really, really isolated. And I just really, really like, I've taken two or three of people walking up across that snow. I just love those little tiny people with that big dramatic backdrop as well. So I think that worked quite nicely as well. I've uh, 
humble and kind yeah i've just got recognized it's really really nice as i said before if you do know me if you're out on the hill and you hear me voice just come and say hello i absolutely buzz off of it i've just seen the three guys walk down there over the hill so hello thank you for saying hello because that's made me day and uh, yeah i've just taken a snapshot so enjoy this one speak to you soon think by the looks of it he's putting his gear on so we might be on the move um, are we heading that way we're going down we're level. going down so we're heading down that direction so I'm gonna see how it is underfoot if I have to stop and put the crampons on I will um, it's likely you're gonna. but yeah it's likely I'm probably gonna right so looks like Gareth has got another challenge for me we're going up onto the glitters uh, it's scree going up I don't mind the challenge going up the nerves are going to kick in coming down the other side. Whew. Yeah, but we're at the little lake now at the top of Devil's Kitchen or one of the little lakes. Uh, Devil's Kitchen is sort of this bit on the other side here, which is where I went down last time. So I don't know. And he's also planning on doing a bit of a sunset. So I can feel my anxiety building up. Um, I know I'm not alone, so we'll be all right. Take my time, take it slow. Uh, yeah, but yeah, I can feel myself building up. Can you hear me, Roger? I can hear you, Roger. This, I'm not going to lie, this makes me feel a bit sketchy. This is steep and it's scree. But I think now I'm here and now I'm with Gareth, I've got to, I've got to knuckle down and I've got to do it. I will report in either halfway up or at the top. I'm not looking forward to this at all, but the challenge is on. Well, am I knackered, aren't I? <laughs> am I knackered? In a word, yeah. We're just getting back up to the sun now, so we're getting a bit of sun on our face. The old vitamin D's gonna start bouncing back in again. I'm ready for a drink. Uh, I reckon I've got about 50 meters, I've just been told by a guy, he reckons it's about another 50 meters of this and then it levels off a bit. But yeah, the views again. Woohoo! It's opening up again. Gareth's a little way behind me. I think he was taking pictures of this guy that's up in front of me. So let me keep moving. I just want to keep moving and get to the the relatively flat bit. Enjoy the top before I have to panic about going back down the other side. Brrr. Unbelievable. What a day so far. What a day. And we're just back in the snow line, as you can see here as well. This is amazing absolutely amazing i think i might stop on this rock for a minute let gareth catch up i'm walking on like fresh snow i know people are up here in front of me i can see them oh my goodness i think it's going to be amazing at the top i'm so sorry this is a long video but you've got to enjoy everything with me You've got to. That's where we were before, up on that one. So we've come up, up that side and up around the top there. But, wow, 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 wow. Loving it and hating it equally. <laughs> well, the battery's starting to get a bit lower now, so I don't know how much more I'm going to be doing on the old GoPro and Osbro and blah, blah, blah. But look at the rocks now, starting to get these rocks. There's a paraglider up over the top of uh, wherever it is we came from. <laughs> And the clouds over here are just woo -wee, amazing looking over at Snowden. I'm still waiting for Gareth to catch up. I can see him down in the red with a red coat coming up behind me. I don't quite know where I'm going, but I'm going to keep heading up because I assume up and over is the only way to go. I'm now on my own. I can't see anybody up here except for me. So this white powdery snow is beautiful, but it's still putting the jitters up me. Something chronic. I do want to be going down the other side in all fairness. Uh, I don't know how my head plays games. I see the clouds blowing in and uh, blowing out. And, wow, it doesn't mess with me.
had an idea with the sun being up there and low, you can see the sun's right behind me there. So with that being so low, I've come over to this edge because with this cloud rolling in, this mist, this cloud, this fog, this whatever it is, I thought there's a chance of a broken spectre. And as I got to this edge, I almost got one. There's, a, there's like a V-shaped rock in front of me and it was just starting to glow with a broken spectre or the Brocken spectre just on that. And if it rolls in again and that sun peeps above the cloud, it is the perfect combination of sunlight to mist ratio for me to get the ultimate broken spectre. And I will be absolutely with joy. <laughs> Fingers crossed. I've, I'll have a look on the image. If it worked, I'll put it up. Here comes, the, here comes the sun now behind me. So all I need now is that fog to roll in and the sunlight to catch me and break the spectrum. It's coming now. It's coming just in front of me. I've got a little faint spectre. Woohoo! This could be it. about to join me to hopefully to, wit to hopefully witness this miracle of nature if it's going to happen. It's going to happen with us both together. I'm just waiting for the Brock Inspector. We get a bit of clear bit there and it's going to hit this. I almost had it about two minutes ago. Yeah. So. It's you that creates the Brock Inspector. Yeah, yeah. As the light hits you and breaks it. Pretty good. Yeah. Breathtaking, isn't it? It's amazing. You see the paragliders over the mountain? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I saw one of them. Is it, was oh, there more four. than one? There's four. Four, blimey. It's thickening in now. I don't know whether the lights. Yeah, let's, let's, get, let's, get, to, um, let's get moving. We yeah. get to the smaller of the two. We've got to keep moving. We've got to keep moving. The rock formations up here are absolutely to die for. And with the snow round and making them stand out and prominent, just absolutely amazing conditions for this. And every time the light comes out and catches them in a slightly different way, it just looks absolutely tremendous. And I've got a, a really nice shot as well. I've just taken a shot of some grasses. And the grasses have always had some weather blowing past them and it's uh, made like these sideways icicles on them and they just looked absolutely fantastic so I had to get myself a little shot a little intimate detail shot from the top of the mountain but yeah this this is just a total photographer's dream fill your boots session um, unbelievable unbelievable and for being a first time here as well it's just fantastic Is. You just need to get the other side of it to get the impression of it. There's a you go round and there's a bit that's sticking up the other side. And I just wanted to sort of just show you this really. Look at the view! Got Snowden over there, I just got a little glimpse of the hills with the, the cloud behind it, so I've taken a quick snap and you've got the beautiful, perfect reflection down there in that little pool. Whether it turns into a nice photograph or not, I don't know, but I'll, I'm here to take it and I'm enjoying taking it. So yeah, there'll be one or two more photos before we go but we've definitely got to get round there. And I'm definitely getting the old jitters about getting down in the dark. Oh my God, I'm not looking forward to it at all. battery this is going to take how much I can get out of this but I've just taken another couple of shots just here looking back towards the Snowdon range I've got this beautiful smooth soft crispy sand it's got this beautiful white fluffy snow down here in front of me and then I've got that re perfect reflection of the lake so I've just been moving around really trying to get myself in a position where I can balance some of this and then coming around this side I just had a look down here I've got some spiky bits and some jitting out rocks and things that are just but it's all powdered snow it's all clean snow it just looks amazing 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 but we've got to keep moving i don't know he's resting and he's relaxing he's having his he's having his break and his pork pie and things and i'm i just i just want to keep moving the sun's dropping lower i know what the light i know what it's like going down the way i went down last time and it's not much fun oh come on come on but this is beautiful 
This is flipping beautiful. Clagged in on us all of a sudden. Just clagged in on us. Loads of clouds just rolled in really quick, so ooh, it gets scary when it does that. We're even higher now. We're getting up to where we need to get this photograph. But look at this for a flipping shot. Look at that for a photo. Look at all these jaggedy lines sticking out on the mountain in the background and the sun coming through and all the different tones of light leading you through. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. This is an amazing place to take photographs. Oh, just went down a snowy hole. <laughs> uh, but yeah, amazing, amazing, amazing. I'm gonna keep saying amazing. I must have said it about a hundred times already in this video, but wow. So, 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 we are eventually at our so-called sunset location. Oh my goodness, it's gonna take some getting down, but what, what a location. I have been here before, I've been here once. Um, this is, yeah, once, right. yeah, once. Castle in the Wind, or what's its proper name? Castle Gwent. Castle Gwent, Castle Gwent. I'll try and remember that. Castle. Le Gwent. Um, so we've got these lovely spiky rocks pointing up, death trap, we've just come up through the snow in between them, and then you've got these beautiful pointy rocks on the side of the castle there, the sun's going down behind it. It's cast in silhouette, yes I know, but the reflection down here, or the, the, the bouncing light, the reflective light off of these rocks and the snow and everything, looks absolutely out of this world. And I've just taken a couple of shots just then where the sun had just been muted by the, the thickened cloud, and it looks fantastic. But, 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 on the back of this Osmo, super 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 cool so i'm going to try and do a bit of a, a quick pano and see if i can get that same sort of style of image of what i've just seen on the back of the osmo so bear with well what can i say amazing i don't know if it works or not it's really 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 difficult to to work with because the sun as you can see the sun's right there it's so 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 bright but maybe kind of silhouetted and the rocks and the light and because there's snow on the rocks the snow's lifting the rocks so it's only when you're standing behind a dark one that hasn't got any snow on it you can't see it but because of the snow on the rocks and you see like all these jagged lines and stuff like that, that's for me what makes the images that's what me what is the interest and the really sharp jaggedy bits the fact that it might be silhouetted doesn't matter but there's some foreground there's some nice lines there's some nice texture there's some just so much interest going on and it's such a fantastic place the photographs will be my memories of being here they'll be the day we did this walk and it's been a massive walk for me the day i covered all this ground the day i come up here in the snow which i would never have done without the thanks of gavin uh, without the thanks of gareth gareth I, I wouldn't have come without gareth insisting on what we were going to do um, I'd have probably bottled it and gone down. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna take a little bit of a head, you know, head back down now, heading down that way. And uh, yeah, I'll check in just before we get back down, just to say we're safe and home. But yeah, amazing, fantastic day out.
So we've had the long lens out, we've taken a picture of Snowden, and even now it looks flipping amazing. The, snow, the sun is virtually sitting on the top of Snowden. Gareth's got an absolutely amazing one. He's a full frame, the dynamic range is berserk. Um, I'm hopefully going to be able to pull out a pretty good one on my Fuji as well. If I can, it's coming up on the screen now, but I'm literally just going to say goodbye when I get back to the van, just so you know we're down safe because this fog's come the in. It's wouldn't be freezing, out down freezing, safe freezing. And it would be out because he'd take it down and put it out for me. <laughs> he said it wouldn't be out if you hadn't seen it, if you hadn't started watching it, if we weren't safe. But you never know. If we have an accident, I want someone to record it and tell you. But yeah, we're going down, sun's dropping, getting flipping cold and we've got a long way to go. I'll speak to you just before we get to the van. probably can't see me uh, or you might be able to I don't know but I'm actually down on the road now down walking back along the side of Clearnogwin where it all started this morning Gareth actually took the shortcut down and went straight back down direct to the car park there is a path but I didn't know where it was and I was up in front of him so I had to carry down on the main path back down to the Idwall cafe so I'm absolutely goosed I will be putting it up on the screen exactly how far we've been, the route we've taken and uh, yeah, relevant information if you need it. But please, please like and subscribe. Please give me my due on this one because I've done so much. I've now got a two hour drive home. Thumbs up, like and subscribe. Please tell a friend and I do hope you enjoyed the photographs. I thoroughly enjoyed myself, except for that last scary part coming down that extremely steep hill in the dark and the fog. And I'm glad I'm back on terra firma. Till next time, ciao for now. See you soon. And, uh, oh, and if you want to follow me on Patreon, I've got a Patreon page, link below. Please do, it really will help, it means a lot. I've got a little family growing, ta-da. Ciao for now. Biscuits, cake, and coffee. Here we come. <laughs>